and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor of the Tenkar's Tavern blog. Well, shout outs to the Tenkar's Tavern Facebook community, MeWe community, and of course, the Discord community. I'm trying to work on something with the Discord community. There's a lot of creators there. I'm trying to find a way where we can ask creators, you know, label products that they, you know, it's part of the community. Might might be a good thing. We shall see. I, I got a lot of talk to do, uh, be happening at Game Hall. Now, aside from talking at Game Hall, I am bringing the original drinking quest game with me. Jason Anarchy right now. If you go to Kickstarter and you search for Drinking Quest, there's about 15 hours left in the latest uh, Drinking Quest games. They're all, the six of them, they're all standalone. They all have, like, I don't know, four to six, like, sub-adventures within them. It plays well as a beer and pretzel game. And if you don't have your full group, maybe you only have three players at the table. It plays really well. I don't think it plays two players. Mm, three to four is your ideal number, I, I, I would say, with Drink Quest. But I'm bringing it to Game Hall. So, oh, I don't know. Laramie, if you're listening to this. Next stop, Laramie. No, Laramie, if you're listening to this, like you said, we got to have a, a beer or two. Well, that's great. I suggest that we have a beer or two or multiple more over a session or two of Drinking Quest. I'll drag Rach into it. I'm sure she's already getting ready. You're getting ready for uh, Game Hall, right, Rach? Yeah. yeah. And she's going to be getting ready for drinking, even if she doesn't know it yet. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not throwing my wife under the bus, just letting her know where the bus is coming, where it's stopping. And since it's it's a bus and she's not driving, uh, you don't have to worry about what your blood alcohol content is. Yeah, just a few. For all the, I'm, I'm not suggesting anybody uh, overindulge. I'm just saying. You might indulge. I might indulge. But I came home. I'm running two sessions of Swords and Wizardry Light. Going to be uh, Friday and Saturday morning. I believe nine to one. And when I'm not running sessions, if the uh, Frogger booth is open, I'm probably going to be at the Frogger booth. Even if it's not on the schedule, it's probably where I'm going to be. If I'm not wandering around shopping. But so now that I've. Now that I've pimped a uh, drinking quest, it really isn't a pimping. It's a great, it, it's a fun game. I played it with my old gaming group a couple of years ago. They had a blast. I almost had to slap hands away because they, they wanted to keep it. And I was like, it has to come home with me. With me. But, yeah, it, it's, it's a slow, slow news cycle right now in the RPG community. Which I guess is good. I mean, what isn't slow, uh, apparently, is uh, Gil Gygax's um, Facebook commentary. And I'm only going to touch upon this briefly. Because I know I said I didn't believe Gil was well. And uh, didn't want to stir up unneeded shit, but right now Gail is stirring up shit with the Gygax brothers, Luke, Ernie, actually, the whole, all the children, all her stepchildren. She's throwing a lot of mud in their direction, claiming that she is due monies from Gary Khan. That monies from Gary Khan to be going to support the statue that she has planned for Gary. Now, this is a statue that's going to... This this has been in funding longer than, uh, oh, I think, Far West. Mm. You liked that, didn't you, Rach? Wow. 
And uh, there's a lot more money involved in this than in Far West. And although I've been told that the accountant that oversees her tax returns and therefore uh, should have an inkling of the monies being accounted for uh, has a good reputation. I got this from somebody within that field that's a gamer and that I trust. I still fail to understand how you can have a fund where monies are, or, you know, the Gygax Memorial Fund, it's a nonprofit, a 501, uh, what's it, 3C. You have these monies, uh, over $200,000. You've had a balance of over $200,000 for the last couple of years. It goes down every year due to expenses. And yet there is no interest being earned on this account. I don't know where you check, you know, $200,000, which isn't underneath your uh, mattress, where the money does not earn interest. But that being said, Gail feels, feels sorry, that she's entitled to at least $5,000 a year from Gary Khan to be put toward the statue now. The statue was, uh, the initial statue uh, that well, Larry Elmore, I think, did the initial design, and then she decided that she wanted to use the guy who did the uh, Fonzarelli statue in Milwaukee. That would be statue number, design number two, and now I believe that she was talking about statue design number three. I've said this before. Others have said this. I think that Gary Khan itself is the best monument to Gary that one could ask for. Gamers get together. They game. Mm. Members of the gaming community that were instrumental in getting gaming started back in the 70s that knew Gary are there, you can meet them, you can shake their hands, you can talk with them. Luke, Ernie, sons that were involved right from the start, are there. And, uh, oh, that's the, that's the other thing. Uh, Gil uh, feels that Gary Khan should no longer be called Gary Khan, it should be called Luke Khan because it's all about Luke. So, yeah, I guess there is some news. There is some drama going on. Is I, I have so many screenshots of this conversation that she's been putting out there. Not directly, because I'm blocked. But maybe you're not. And if you're not blocked, I advise that you do read it. And don't take my word for it. Read what she's been putting up there. She's also claiming that there will, will, there will soon be a new website back. Now, a little birdie whispered to me that the reason why the old website went down is possibly, now, I'm not saying this is truthful, but it's possible, theoretical, that she lost the password to the site, and that's why she wasn't able to renew it. I can either confirm or deny that, just what somebody mentioned as a possibility. But she's promising a new uh you know, Gygax, you know, Memorial Fund website and a new GMF site up there. So that would be interesting. Maybe she'll uh, raise some money for the fund. I'm looking, uh, when, when I get the 2018 tax statement, when it's up, trust me, I look every couple of weeks. I'll, I'll, I'll mention it. I'll bring it up. I can say this. For 2016, the fund took in $10 for 2017, it took in $235. So, yeah, if you're wondering why she would want money from Gary Khan, from Luke, Ernie, the rest of the family, that's why. That's why. So, on that note, folks, inquiring minds, I will continue to inquire. Stay safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, and I will 
talk with you all tomorrow. Now I gotta finish packing for game home. I leave Wednesday. Oi. Later, folks.